<laughs> New film is out. Let's discuss it. Greetings, Comic Universe. It is Brian, and I am back for The Joker. Yes, for those that know me, I finally got to see a movie on the Friday it was released. And, matter of fact, I'm actually the first one of the crew to see it. So... I get to do the spoiler-free review for you guys. I believe Mr. J will come later for... Sorry. J will come later for a spoiler review. But for now, you've got me for a non-spoiler review. So... Joker, let's, before we get into talking about the movie, let's talk about him as a character. Now, Joker is a very interesting character because you can go many different directions with him. You can go the want to watch the girl burn, Joker... That was Heath Ledger's. You can go with the comical old 50s style. Like crazy criminal that was done in the old school Adam West days. With Caesar. I'm so sorry I'm blanking on his last name. Uh, and Jack Nicholson's version. Or you can do the criminal mastermind who's crazy but can also make you laugh, which is the Mark Hamill version, which is honestly my favorite, like, adaptation of Joker ever. And then you've got the comics where he can be versions of all of those, but also just be really crazy and really serial killery to the fact where once in the comics, no joke, for those of you who might not know, even though this is called Comic Universe, Comic Universe, um, the Joker actually took off his own face and then later wore it as a mask it got to be so much of like an inside joke that there can be many different versions of joker that there was a story in the comics which honestly i don't know how it ended that posed the question that there were three different jokers one of my one of my favorite underrated versions of Joker out there is actually called Jokester. In the world where the where the crime syndicate is the evil Justice League, he was one of the few good guys fighting back. So he was still mad. He had the white skin and the purple hair. But he fought for good. Which was an interesting take on Joker. He also married their version of Two-Face called Three-Face. But that's another story. And had a daughter. But that's a story for another day. Let's actually get back to Joker the movie. Um, so when you said that, that you're doing an origin movie about Joker. That's not going to have Batman in it. You're like, huh. How could they go with this? Because they can go many different routes. And. As you can see from the trailers. They went a very interesting route. I'm not going to spoil anything. Like I said. 
Uh, so. Let's talk about the history of the actual movie itself. Which is interesting because it is done by Todd Phillips. Whose most um, popular movie before now was The Hangover. So, interesting. And, honestly, Todd Phillips has been saying a few things in the news which... I don't know how I feel about that. Then again, a lot of people have been saying some things that have been making me question them. Like famed film auteur Martin Scorsese saying that superhero movies aren't cinema. Which I dare him to watch this movie. And Logan. And tell me still that. But anyway, this also stars the infamous Joaquin Phoenix. For those of you who might remember, went super mega cuckoo crazy in his own way. But then we find out that it was all a ploy to be a movie done by his brother-in-law. So... Yay. And then it came out the cast. Robert De Niro. Mark Marin. Uh, Zazie Beats. Also known as Domino. Then playing Joker's mother is Francis Conroy. Sorry, I got the name down here because I don't remember names that well. And Francis Conroy. Oh, boy. Without spoiling, let's get into the movie itself. <sighs> this is going to be a little hard because I can't really do plot synopsis without getting into spoilers. So, to the point where I thought about doing a joke... Where I just played my end credit like one minute in, but didn't want to do that to you guys. So, uh, it's a character study on this version of Joker and his evolving character and the people around him and it, even though it has no set like structure to it until a certain point but I won't get into it because spoilers Joaquin Phoenix and the supporting cast did an amazing job I'd highly recommend this film but don't bring the kitties like, I swear, I know sometimes they say our movies, but you can sometimes bring the kids. Trust me. Don't do it. Todd Phillips' other film, Hangover, was rated R, but you could bring sometimes kids and immature teens to it. But unless they are mature teens accompanied by an adult, I say no kids should watch this. Like, ever. And not just because it's got gore. I'd go into detail, but that would be spoiling. What I will say is, a lot of people were talking about, should Joaquin Phoenix get Oscar? Because, well, first of all, it's Joaquin Phoenix. And second of all, it's the character of the Joker, and last time, a very talented actor played the Joker. He won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. Granted, it was after his death, but still. That goes to show you how powerful the role was. 
So do I think that Joaquin Phoenix should win an Oscar? I don't know. There are a lot of big performances this year, but I think he should at least get a nom. At the very least. And I think also Frances Conroy should at least get a nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Because her character in here. All I will say is not as simple as you would think from the trailers. But then again, that's for every character. Oh, I will say one other thing before I go. Uh, are there Easter eggs? You bet your sweet bottom there are. When they say names, pay attention to last names. That's all I will say. There are some other stuff too, but again, spoilers. And lastly, are there any end credits? No. I'll just say that. I don't think it needs a sequel. But I would like to see this trend start going now of Batman villains getting solo Batman-less origins. Like, maybe Brian Cranston as Mr. Freeze? Or John Hamm as Two-Face? Or Neil Patrick Harris? as Riddler but anyway thank you guys for watching hope to see you again in the universe till next time and beyond seriously don't bring kids to this